this is assertion region question question based on progression statement 1 is the sum of the series series given is 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 9 plus 12 plus 16 up to 361 plus 380 plus 400 is equal to 8000 and statement 2 is given summation k equal to 1 to n k cube minus k minus 1 whole cube equal to n cube. So, first we take st statement 1, 1 cube, first term is 1, second term is 1 plus 2 plus 4, it is 7, third term is 4 plus 6 plus 9, it is 19. The given series is can be written as 1 cube minus 0 cube plus second term is written as 2 cube minus 1 cube. Similarly, third term is 3 cube minus 2 cube. Similarly, fourth 4 cube minus 3 cube and so on. If we sum of this series, this terms, then we find 20 cube minus 19 cube. Finding the sum of this series, 1 cube cancel out, 2 cube cancel out, 3 cube cancel out. All terms are cancel out except 20 cube and 0 cube. 0 cube is 0. So, sum of this series is 20 cube. It means 8000. So, statement 1 is true. Now, statement 2. Statement 2 said summation of k cube minus k minus 1 whole cube. If we put k equal to 1, we get 1 cube minus 0 cube. If we put k equal to 2, we get 2 cube minus 1 cube. Similarly, 3 cube minus 2 cube and similarly, if we put k equal to n, then n cube minus n minus 1 cube. Similarly, 1 cube cancel out 2 cube, 3 cube and so on, n minus 1 whole cube. So, it is n cube. So, statement 2 is also true. We see that the state with the help of statement 2, we can prove statement 1 also. So, statement 2 is a correct explanation of statement 1. So, statement 2, answer is statement 2 is a correct explanation of statement 1, that is all. Now, question number 35 root 3 plus 1 raised to the power 2n minus root 3 minus 1 raised to the power 2n is a. If we expand this expression, the total number of term is 2n plus 1. Similarly, this expression is also have 2n plus 1 term. All terms of this expression is positive and this expression is alternative sign. If we solve these two expression, we get even terms like t2, t4, t6 because all term is all cancel out. So, t2, t4, t6 and so on t2n and t2 plus t2 it means twice of t2, twice of t4. If we solve t2, t2 is what? 2n c1 root 3 raised to the power 2n minus 1. Similarly, t4, 2n c3 root 3 raised to the power 2n minus 3 and so on. If we see this, see this expression root 3 raised to the power 2n minus 1, 2n minus 1 is a odd number. So, this expression is also a in terms of root, root mean means irrational number. So, this expression give a rest irrational number, irrational number. So, solution of this question root 3 plus 1 raised to the power 2n minus root 3 minus 1 raised to the power 2n is a irrational number which is option 2. Question number 39. Assuming the balls are identical except for different color, 
the number of way in which one or more balls selected from 10 white, 9 green and 7 black balls. Question number 39, 10 white ball, W is represent white ball, 9 green ball, similarly G is represent 9 green ball and 7 black ball. The number of way of selection of one or more ball, first we take white. The number of selection of one or more ball, or one or more white ball is 10. If we not selected the white ball, then plus 1. The total number of selection of white ball is 10 plus 1. Similarly, 9 plus 1 for green ball. Similarly, 7 plus 1 for black ball. But question said, at least one ball is to be selected. So, minus 1 if all balls are rejected. 11 into 10 into 8 minus 1 which is 880 minus 1 879 which is option number 1. So, option 1 is correct. Now, question number 40. This question is based on again progression, arithmetic progression. If 100 times of 100 terms of an AP with non-zero common difference is equal to 50 times of 50 term. The question said 100 T 100 equal to 50 T 50 and ask the 150th term of given series T 150 T 100 the T 100 is A plus 99 D and T 50 is what A plus 49 D. If we solve this equation we get 2 A plus 198d equal to a plus 49d. So, a plus 149d equal to 0. Now, t150 terms is what? a plus 149d. But above expression a plus 149d is what? 0. So, t150 it means 150 a term will be equal to 0. So, option number 1 is correct. Now, next question number 43, question based on quadratic equation, number of solution of the equation e raised to the power sin x minus e raised to the power minus sin x equal to minus 4 equal to 0. If we put e raised to the power sin x equal to y, then y minus 1 by y minus 4 equal to 0. This equation can be written as y square minus 4y minus 1 equal to 0. After solving these equation, this equation, we get y equal to 2 plus minus root 5 by Dharachare rule. Now, y is e raised to the power sin x. So, e raised to the power sin x equal to either 2 plus root 5 or e raised to the power sin x equal to 2 minus root 5. But value of 2 minus root 5 is negative, but we know that e raised to the power sin x is always positive. So, this solution is rejected. This is positive, but we know that the range of sin x lie between minus 1 to 1. Sin x lie between minus 1 to 1. So, e raised to the power sin x lie between e 1 by e to e e is approximate 2.7. The maximum value of e raised to the power sin x is 2.7. But here e raised to the power sin x equal to 2 plus root 5, 2 point something. It means 4 point something. So, e raised to the power sin x cannot be take value 4 point something. So, this is also rejected. So, given question have no solution. It means no real roots. So, option 3 is correct. Now, question number 57, question based on complex number. If z is not equal to 1 and z square upon z minus 1 is a purely real, then question asks complex number z lie. z square upon z minus 1 is purely real. It implies z square upon z minus 1 equal to z bar square upon z bar minus 1. If we cross multiply this expression, z square z bar minus z square equal to z z bar square minus z bar square. 
after solving this z z bar z minus z bar equal to z square minus z bar square z z bar into z minus z bar equal to z plus z bar into z minus z bar it means either z minus z bar equal to 0 or z z bar equal to z plus z bar z minus z bar equal to 0 it implies z bar equal to z it means z is purely real or z z bar z z bar is what more z square it means x square plus y square z plus z bar x plus iota y plus x minus iota y it implies 2x x square plus y square minus 2x equal to 0 this equation can be rewritten as x minus 1 whole square plus y square equal to 1 which is equation of circle whose center is 1 comma 0 and radius is 1 if you draw this circle 1 comma 0 is a center and radius is 1 that this circle is passes through the origin so two type of answer either z is lie on real axis or circle which is which have center 1 comma 0 and passing through the origin so option number 2 is a right answer option 2 is what either lie on a real axis or a circle passing through the origin